Right, breaking news just coming in. Tarun Tejpal, former editor in chief of uh, Tehelka, who's been accused of rape, uh, he's uh, appearing before a sessions court in North Goa's Mapusa town. We're being told that framing of charges uh, will take place on the 28th of September. Tarun Tejpal is in court right now. The court had granted Tejpal plea under CRPC section 327 to conduct the proceedings uh, in the rape case in camera. We're being told that charges will be framed on the 28th of September. We have a senior journalist Pramod Acharya who's with us uh, on the phone line. Uh, Pramod Acharya, your reaction? Uh, see, uh, this is a normal procedure where the court goes into the merits of the case and if the initial uh, investigation or initial hearing before the court of law can so conclusively say that the actions applied against Tarun Tejpal hold any water. So, training of charges is a very important stage uh, where the court makes a prima facie assumption that whether the actions levied against an accused uh, should be carried forward and the case should go for a final hearing. So that was, suppose, that was uh, supposed to happen today. Now the date is 28 September at 2.30 p.m. Uh, this case has been delayed a lot. Uh, there were many technical difficulties while uh, investigating this case, even in the court of law, uh, to procure the CCTV footage of the Pasha Hotel. It took almost six months to get a chemical analysis and uh, technical analysis of the case. So this has been delayed uh, at least for four years now. So anyway, uh, very late as far as this case is concerned. But now the court has said that on uh, 28 September, it will finally decide on training of charges and the case will formally proceed from there on. All right, uh, from the Chara, thanks so much for that uh, update. We're going to keep coming back to you for more reactions. We're being told we are getting a word from uh, Tarun Tejpal's counsel, Pramod Kumar Dubey. Let's listen in. On the charge has been passed. Now the 28th September is the date for the framing the charge. Then the trial will start. We'll see the examine the order. Then we'll decide next course of action. From India today's Palomi Saha, who's with us uh, live from our newsroom. Palomi Tejpal was booked under several sections of the IPC, including 376 uh, and 3762. Goa Police's crime branch presented the charge sheet as well in uh, February this year. Now, framing of charges is going to happen on the 28th. Uh, how, why is that important? Explain to us what's going to happen now and how is that likely to determine Tarun Tejpal's future? Absolutely. Tarun Tejpal must have hoped uh, that he would be discharged uh, from the case uh, today, but that did not happen. Now the court, the Mapsa court in Goa has ordered for the framing of charges, which will happen on September 28. This definitely means that the case proceeds as was uh, made forward uh, by uh, the complainant in this particular case in November 2013. It's been a long time until it's come to this uh, particular stage, especially because the charge sheet was filed in 2014 itself. So now, of course, uh, Mr. Tejpal has no uh, escape from this case. Uh, the court has ordered that charges will be framed against him and trial will commence in this matter. Simi? Follow me. Thanks so much for those details. We're going to keep coming back to you for more updates.